Uh oh. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Three, two. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, for Christmas, Matty received a cookbook. Tell them about the cookbook. So basically, a a crash course in in the core kind of Italian recipes by little old Italian grandma. We were unsure as to what to make, especially with these kind of books, they're just so massive. But helpfully, and this is something you might find in quite a few that cookbooks. Works. That works. Thank you. So this is something you might find in a number of cookbooks, but basically cookbooks, if you look to the back, you'll find a list of suggested menus. Okay. As I was saying, <clears throat> you will find a list of suggested menus and we went straight to that list and found a menu that was realistically it's pretty ridiculous we're gonna tell you about it now but it's incredibly long and rich but we thought there's very little else to do yeah that's it there's just nothing else to do so we might as well spend three days cooking a giant italian meal yeah so kind of initially to be honest i kind of suggested this idea to chloe thinking she would be like ah oh, yeah no it's quite long let's just pick and choose different <laughs> courses um but it turns out we're, we're doing we're doing all the courses in five <laughs> five parts to it in total six if you include the cocktail that we're going to add Lockdown yeah, three, baby. <laughs> so starting off with just melon and prosciutto. We're gonna pronounce some of these things horribly, I feel. All you Italians out there, sorry. Yeah, our plan is we're just gonna try and get in kind of the best quality meat we can to do the dishes justice. I mean, Italians, any Italians who watch this will definitely still complain because that's just what Italians do when anyone tries to cook anything that they made or invented. Ooh, kill them. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna give it our best shot and uh, Hopefully do it justice. So after the starter, meat sauce, you know, like that good old, that good old bolognese that we've all um, butchered in our time as students, <laughs> putting all sorts in it. So we're gonna do that as you know, pretty skinny, pretty skinny first course. Yeah, light, you know. You, yeah, you know, don't wanna weigh weigh yourself down too much. For then the second course, which is drunk roast pork, which is like a, it says roast, but it's kind of like a braised pork tenderloin and a load of wine and some gratin. And what is braising for those non-braisers out there? Um, yeah, non-braisers. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, it's braising is just cooking in with it submerged in, in liquid, usually a flavorful liquid. So poaching or boiling would be in water and braising is usually in a stock or a wine sort of solution. Yeah, get all those sort of aromatics. Solution. <laughs> solution. <laughs> horrible science phrase. I'm pretty excited for that with just, you know, because we're on a bit of a health kick with some spinach and uh, cavolo negro on the side and some roast potatoes. Obviously, Oops. I mean, <laughs> they're still no, a vegetable, guys, so. <laughs> Mar Marcella wrote it, not us. Like, what, yeah. what are we to do, but, but follow the recipe. And then dessert, which is possibly, it's in a sense, one of the most exciting parts, because it's something we just haven't ever done before, um, is something called bolognese. Bolognese. I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry. <laughs> bolognese. Um, You're gonna have to chop the yeah, violin. Yeah, I am oh. gonna have to chop the violin. <laughs> um, oh God. Is um, bolognese rice cake. Vine references, um, are we still have Which, kids? okay, call me completely, I don't know what the word is. Uneducated? No, unworldly, that's probably a better word. Call me unworldly, but I did not realize that the reason why bolognese is called bolognese is because it's from Bologna, or Bologna? From Bologna. Is that not, comment down below if you didn't know that before. <laughs> Just... <laughs> don't forget to smash that like button. Yeah, so that was wild. Anyway, um, it's a bolognese rice cake. It's again, it takes like a very long time to cook and it means that we're going to be cooking for three days in total. So we're eating this on Friday. Um, it's Wednesday now. We're about to start the rice cake because that's something that the flavor matures apparently quite distinctly over several days. So it recommends you eat it two days after making it. So making that this evening. Tomorrow evening, we're gonna make the bolognese um, as in like the 
tagliatelle bolognese uh, because again that's something that's going to taste a lot better the next day after the flavours have given the chance to like mature, get to know each other and then on the actual day we're going to do the braised pork and then obviously the melon and the prosciutto won't need that much preparation so we should be safe with that. Yeah, but. also there's a lot of we coming from Chloe. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually doing most of it because I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, basically it. I'm sure eat it I guess. And yeah, yeah so I'm a big part of this. Yeah, no, couldn't have couldn't die without you I guess. But I'll give the impression that I'm also there. Keeping. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna yeah. video yourself stirring the pot. Yeah. I think <laughs> a big stuff. caveat, obviously, so this is taking us three days and the, some of the reasons is like so this rice cake, you're cooking the rice and milk for like two and a half hours. Um, you have to stand over it for two and a half hours, but you've got to be in it for the long haul. So in a sense, it's good for lockdown because, I mean, where else are you going to go? But yeah, keep that in mind. Lodi's recipes, the bolognese, that will, she says minimum three hours cooking. You know, they're kind of long recipes, so. Mm. Like they're not necessarily intensive in terms of like technique and skill, but you will just have to have like, I don't know, find yourself a little job to do where you're watching it. Or, so. uh, or an unemployed boyfriend and just yeah. <laughs> do that. So. Exactly. So. <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay. CV down below. Any <laughs> employers? <laughs> LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why haven't you hired me yet? So let's get started. I feel. Transition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do it? And you can do you over there. <laughs> Yeah, like we're yeah. about to start this. Very good. Here we are, kind of a <laughs> couple feet from where we were before. <laughs> so, the rice cake starts with the rice. The slowest of simmers for two and a half hours with the milk, the lemon peel, salt and sugar. Yeah, we're going to really be developing the flavour. So right now it's all about getting it on. Yeah. And then, yeah. 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 Cool. Matty, do you want to give this a token stir? Can you know. see the lemon peel in her? Yeah, wait, lift it up and I'll zoom. Do a little slow zoom. Yeah, nice. As well as Ooh. the rice is a risotto rice, which is a bit of a shorter grain, but a bit chunkier. Right. Well, it's a very starchy rice, yeah. so it should should have a nice thick kind of paste by mm. the end. Oh, so, okay. fast forward two and a half hours. Okay. Just thickening up. I'm not sure this is just me, but a bit color change, looking a little yeah. bit, a little bit more yellow, a little bit richer maybe. Who's this? This is Nibby, or Nibble. And she's beautiful. We'll work oh. it, work it, um, yeah. Leave them wanting more eh, nibs. No paps, please. <laughs> Where are you from down for? <laughs> On the stool. <laughs> See, ideally you would own a stool, so you can sit and watch. <laughs> Just doing chef things. Oval teen to keep, keep the spirits high. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> the side eye. You just don't want to be filmed. Time. It's quite late. late. We're tired. <laughs> Must be done. This is only day one as well. Bread crumbs. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm shake.
I'm gonna move the weapon. Yeah, just <laughs> it goes. It's almost midnight and the The cake is in the oven, so that's really exciting. But it's also a weeknight, and I want to sleep. We're taking it out in like 20 minutes, and it's gonna have rum poured all over it, and then it needs to be removed from the tin, and then it just chills. Matty's ignoring me and stroking his cap. That last bit really necessary. It's just half the video gonna be the cats. Are you excited? Yes. It's ready in two and a half minutes. Oh no, please. You can do time lapse. <laughs> of the, of the two really. Ooh, looking pretty beautiful. Oh no, it doesn't smell of rum. Viewer, she's literally been the biggest baby. She has to stay up till 12. <laughs> it's so late. <laughs> what does the rum smell of rum? She's abandoning, abandoning the project already to sleep for her internship. Yeah.